So coffee time and welcome to this week's video. You join me here at Arn. Absolutely lovely day. You probably can't see, but the hill is right over the back there, snow capped. Uh, as I drove down here this morning, uh, there was snow on the ground. Just as I got here, it cleared. Uh, but I've come here today, it should be a glorious day, really lovely weather. Over the next uh, couple of days, over the weekend, we've got a, a storm coming in. I think they're calling it Bert, Storm Bert, so it's going to be pretty wet. So this is the only occasion that I get an opportunity to come out. Uh, got here for dawn, went to Shipstall Hyde initially, all the way up to the end there. Um, saw uh, one seeker deer, but it was just lovely uh, to look out and have the dawn. With just this singular deer and not much in the way of seabirds, I decided to move up towards Middle Beer as high tide was uh, due to be about 12 o'clock. A really frosty path in the shade. I came across these lovely pigs, really curly hair. I must admit, I gingerly sort of walked past, uncertain how friendly they may be. I can imagine they could give you quite a decent nip if they wished. But they seem to be head down, crunching away on their breakfast. As I got to the lookout, uh, it was approximately sort of nine, ten o'clock, and the tide was starting to come in pretty quickly. The avocets were moving up uh, with uh, the tide. First recording in the UK around about the 1600s, they re-established themselves uh, breeding about the 1940s. Currently, they're around about uh, 2,000 breeding pairs. They're resident in certain parts of the south, Key Haven being one of the sort of strongholds. The, the numbers are supplemented in the winter by European uh, migrants, and the numbers are boosted to around about 8,000 pairs. And Arn here is one of those favored wintering grounds, and there's approximately 800 here. decided to follow them up to the head of the channel and as I left the lookout came across this fire crest busily moving around struggled a little bit getting out of focus I walked into the second viewing spot and the avocets were moving through um, in small groups. Last year, I think I put a, a link uh, to that video, I managed to catch them moving en masse uh, through the channel. And, but it was just lovely to see them flying by. I decided to follow them up and view them at distance, but from that viewpoint. So here is where they gather of the godwits and other waders. About two to three o'clock, returned to Shipstall Hyde, where a group of seekers had moved out of the woodland.
joined here by a fox. That certainly didn't seem to phase the seeker deer. It seemed as if he was more interested in the ducks, but he seemed unsuccessful in gaining any supper and sulked off into the woods. And whilst I was concentrating on that view, two Springvilles arrived at distance. followed by a third. I do love these birds. I do find it quite interesting how such large beaks must be really awkward preening themselves. But close to the hide, I could see this little egret reflected perfectly in the still water. I was so impressed how he moved hardly making any impact on the water's surface. I'm looking off to the right of the hide, right in the centre of the salt marshes, was this lovely mature stag. Looks as if six to seven points possibly doing a little bit of grooming i just love their winter colors and i think i've mentioned this before but they certainly have this pagan look about them quite pleased that he decided to walk off past the hide and into the woods. The evening sun is striking him perfectly here. Just one last glance across the wetland before he left. Looking back over to the group of seeker, it appeared as if it was also time for them to leave the salt marshes. With about an hour to go before sunset, I thought I'd try and make an attempt to get back to Middlebeer Hyde as the sun would be setting on that side of the reserve. But as I got to the highest point of the reserve and looked across, I could see that we weren't going to get a particularly good sunset with the cloud gathering. Off into the distance, I could see even more seeker. And as I walked up the path back to the car park, I could see this stag crossing just in front of me. So I decided to film this handsome stag. is just slightly darker in this light approximately eight points which is about the maximum we find with seeker deer with the light quickly glowing i decided to abandon the idea of going to Middlebeer Hyde and just finish off the session.
observing this lovely deer. This is definitely one of my favourite places and I love to visit here at least once or twice a year, once in the summer to get those summer colours for the seeker and then again in the winter. It's just a real bonus that you manage to get these lovely birds as well. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe and as always be great for you to join me in the next one.